Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to We Hooked Up. I have a walleye here, and I have a treat for you. Um, see, nobody knows everything. All that I know about fishing, I never knew this until a fisherman told me a little while ago. And that was that if you cut into a walleye's cheeks, okay, they have what they call Pormen scallops. Um, in, in the cheek of the walleye right here. See where I'm touching right there. See how it's kind of bulging out right here They call those poor men's scallops and you can actually get scallops out of it Also something else about the walleye. I did not realize this is if you cut right underneath these two fins here You can get what they call the wings Never knew that found out about the wings today a couple of fishermen told me about the scallops But I forgot about them because I just never did it um, until I was reminded last night. So I did a little practice run and uh, Turns out I got the scallops out of it. Here's one scallop. Here's two scallops out of this uh, other walleye that I cut up And here's the wings from the other one um, And from what they're saying is that the walleye we all know that the walleye is a very delicious fish If not the best fresh water eating fish you can ever have but the wings and the scallops, they say in the scallops are is absolutely the best part. I can't I can't wait to try it. And they said and the wings are definitely distinctually almost as good as the scallops. If, if, you know. So and then of course you got the fillet of the, the walleye, which is amazing as well. So I'm just excited to share this new information with you. That's why you have to have an open mind. No one knows everything. You keep learning and discovering new stuff. All right, let's let's see if we can get the uh scallops out of this one. I'm new at this, so <laughs> I'm not an expert like I am at this as I am like filleting, but hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? But you can feel the meat right here in his cheek and um so from what they told me is you just want to go around the cheek. Let's see if I can get it. Yep, there we go. Right there. And you just cut right around that cheek. You got to be careful because this knife is thick. Yep, just like that. I don't even think, I think that's, um, I think I'm, I'm shorting myself. Here it is right here. Here's the incision. I am short myself. Yep, that's the incision that I wanted to make. So I just shorted myself on this scallop. I'm gonna try to recover it though. I probably won't be able to. And you should be able to peel this right back and get the scallop out of there. Now it's probably chopped up and everything and it's not gonna be a perfect scallop, but we're just gonna do it this way. And you cut right behind the eye and you get that scallop right out of this cheek. And I heard it's not a pretty and a perfectly round scallop, but nevertheless, it's a scallop. See that? Beautiful. And I heard that these things are really tasty. So there's one scallop out of the one cheek. Let's see if I can do a better job of getting the scallop out of this cheek. Uh, yep, there we go. Right there. Just like that. And I'm trying not to short myself. Trying to go all the way around it. I probably shorted myself again as I'm not a pro at this yet. But uh, I will be. Give me a little while. I will be. I will master this too. Um, I think that's pretty good. Again, not a complete circle. Well, it is a complete circle, but it's not a perfect circle. Let's see if I can uh, uh, flip this scallop out of here. Watch my hand with this old sharp knife. There you go. And then I have another scallop. Yep. And um, the bigger your fish, the bigger your scallops. Now, so we got the scallops out of each cheek of the walleye. And I'm telling you, you learn something new every day. And then the wings, which I just learned a little while ago. I think that's pretty amazing. And so with the wings, you want to start right here underneath these two fins, right? And just go down and cut that wing right there. Cut that meat right out of it. Wait a minute. Keep going. Let's see. Yep, yep, keep going. Yep, and there we go. Um, the other one came off a little bit easier, but that's a pretty good wing. Yep, and that meat right there, that wing, they say is everything. Just like that. And you cook it just like that. So there you have it. A new presentation uh, about the walleye that I just learned. Um, 
I think it's a beautiful thing. And now you truly, when you do that, you truly get all the meat that you could possibly get off this very tasting, very, very uh, delicious tasting fish. And then, so now, you know what I do, I'm cutting right on the side of it from the chest up to the back of the uh, spine, which is in the back of the head. We're all in the back of the head and behind the gill plate. You know that. And then I'm cutting all the way down, not all the way down, excuse me, cutting down from the top of the spine, down along behind the back of the gill plate, right down to the chest on the other side, right? Because you know what I'm about to do. And I'm going to go right here in the spine like here. I do it like this because if you go in right here, I can see the fin right here. So that's why I start a little bit down from the head because if you can see the fin better. So you know you're on the side of the spine. So that's why I use that as my guide. Then I go up to the head where I made that incision, see, behind the gill plate. And then I'm just gonna come back down, only about a, uh, not a half an inch, a quarter of an inch deep, right? And I'm right along that spine. Once I get past the guts and the vital organs, I can come through the tail. And then I can go back in and reinforce my incision, right? And uh, get my fillet off this uh, beautiful walleye. Um, I, it was a really good night tonight. We uh, went out only on the water for about an hour and because all of a sudden it started lightning all around us. And it, we got off to a very good start. I start off with a nice smallmouth bass. Then I caught my first walleye. Then I caught my second walleye. Then I caught my third walleye. And we were catching um, a lot of rock bass in between. Uh, matter of fact, I kept one of the rock bass and uh, I did a, a presentation. Well, I did a, a yeah, a presentation of scaling a rock bass because the rock bass is one of the hardest fish to scale um, besides perch. So I wanted to show people how difficult to, to, the difficulty of that, which it made a liar out of me. It was not that difficult, but also um, see, there's that fillet. So. It really wasn't as difficult as it normally is. That that one rock bass made a liar out of me. So anyways, I already made the incision on this side again. I'm going to go here on the side of the spine because it's more pronounced there. I can see it better. So I use that as a guide. And then I go back up to the head where I made the incision in the back of the gill plate down to the chest. And then I'm just coming back down along the spine. You got to be careful, though, because it's very easy to go on the other side, and I do it from time to time. So I'm just following it all the way down, right? Once I get past those vital or organs, there you go. And I'm coming through the tail, and then I'm just going to go back in. And remember, when you do that, you're only going in about a quarter inch deep. Then I'm going back in and just redefining my incision that I made, right, to get as much as this fillet off of him as I can. In my other videos, I talk about the Y bone and the, uh, that's in the walleye. I don't mess with all that. I do it just like this and it comes out perfectly fine. Um, so here we go. But uh, so this way I am utilizing every bit of meat off this walleye. I'm getting everything I can possibly get off this walleye with the, uh, with the wings and the scallops out of the cheek. It's a beautiful thing. I'm also gonna cut off its head um, because I'm saving the heads uh, for a fish head soup. And I will do a presentation on that too when I start my segment of uh, cooking, how to present them, how to prepare them, how to cook them. I will do that, but here's this filet, beautiful filet. Run that water, fill that water up. You know me, I like to have my stuff, my uh, fillets, soaking in water. I like clean fish. And I, I forgot to cut that uh, head off that other one, but I'll do it. That's, you did see, just break the head. There you go. And that's gonna go for my fish head soup. Where's the other head? This, that head, oh, it's in there. I gotta get it out of there. But, uh, I'm gonna throw this out well and that's it for that video i hope you enjoyed it i love the new presentation i hope it was very informational for you signing off your boy we hooked up once again all right y'all we out